going to be cooking up some pieces of chicken today. I'm going to use drumsticks and thighs. Now what we're going to do is cook them up in the oven and I'm going to cook them with this wonderful barbecue sauce. So lovely delicious chicken, so easy to do, so give it a go. So to make up this chicken with this barbecue sauce, I just want to go through the ingredients I'm going to use. Now I've got 10 pieces of chicken there, I've got six drumsticks, and four thighs, but you could use all drumsticks or all thighs, your choice. Now what we're gonna do is brush the outside with some olive oil and lemon juice and just season it with salt and pepper, just to get it started really. Now I'm gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil and just slightly less of the lemon juice. So that goes on the outside of the chicken and then you put your seasoning. Now we're gonna get ourselves a baking tray and I'm gonna add this onion. Now with the onion, you wanna chop that nice and fine and put it in the baking tray and just nestle all the piece of chicken in with the onions and it'll just give it a really delicious flavor to start off with. Now once we've got that all prepared, then we're gonna start making up this simple barbecue sauce. So I've got my piece of chicken, I've put them in a baking tray, and what I've done with a sharp knife, I've just cut through the skin into the meat on both sides with the drumsticks, and just on top with the thighs. Now, I've got one tablespoon of olive oil, and I've got just under one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now what I'm gonna do is mix those two together, and we're gonna start off by brushing both sides of the lemon. So. Let's just pour that in there, really. I might just give that a little bit more of a squeeze. That's it. Give that a mix. And I think I'll just, just quickly brush this over, really. And then once you've done the first side, obviously you can flip them over and do the other side as well. So I'll just carry on doing that. Now, before I turn the piece of chicken over and do the other side, I'm just gonna put some salt and some freshly brown black pepper. That's it. Now I'm gonna turn those all over, brush it with some more of that olive oil and lemon juice and season the other side, and then we can just add the onion. What I'm gonna do is add the onion next, so we're just gonna kind of sprinkle that over we can rub it in so it's kind of sitting everywhere. Okay. Just gonna move those around a little bit. There you go. I think that'll do it. Just brush that off there a little bit. So that is ready to go in the oven now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my oven on so it's preheated and I'm going to set it to 200 degrees Celsius. Now whilst I'm waiting for the oven to come up to temperature, I'm going to get on with this barbecue sauce. So for making this barbecue sauce, I've got all mine laid out, all the sort of ingredients laid out, all measured out, so I'm just going to go through the quantities. Now most of these, I'm going to use a tablespoon measurement, so that's the bigger spoon, and for the Tabasco sauce, I'm going to use a teaspoon measurement, because that's quite hot. Now what I'm going to use is two tablespoons of maple syrup, eight tablespoons of red wine, four tablespoons of Japanese soy sauce, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, one and a half tablespoons of tomato puree, and then one tablespoon of mustard powder and ground ginger. Also, I've got a couple of cloves of garlic, peel those, and we're gonna crush those down. And Tabasco sauce, I'm gonna use the teaspoon measurement one and a half teaspoons of Tabasco sauce. So what we're gonna do is get a bowl, pour it all in, give it a quick mix, and that's your barbecue sauce all ready to go. So now I've got myself a bowl, and I'm just gonna start adding all the ingredients. It doesn't really matter on the order, so let's just pour it in. This one's gonna be a bit slow because it's the maple syrup, so I'll carry on with this end. Put in the red wine. We've got the Japanese soy sauce. Red wine vinegar. Tabasco sauce. And we've got the ground ginger and the mustard powder. That's it. I'm still doing this maple syrup. Now I'm going to get a spoon and just get the last bit of that out. 
probably stick to everything. I do. Now I've also got that tomato puree. crushed up garlic, so I'll put those in my little machine for crushing. And again, I'm just going to put any bits that are left in there. Now, that's all in there, all in the, the bowl. So now all we need to do is to give this a good mix. There you go. That's ready to go. Now I'm going to go over to the oven now and get me a piece of chicken in the oven because it's preheated and I'm going to cook them for 25 minutes. So set your timer, cook your piece of chicken for 25 minutes and then we're going to bring it out and put this barbecue sauce on top. So I'm going to place me a piece of chicken in the preheated oven. Now temperature wise, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6. Set your timer for 25 minutes and then we're going to pull them out and put that barbecue sauce on top. So I've got my piece of chicken and they've been cooking for 25 minutes. So time to pull these out. Oh yeah. Let's put them on the table. Keep the oven on, don't switch it off, leave it so it's nice and hot when we put the chicken back in. So I've got my piece of chicken, I've taken them out of the oven. Now what I'm going to do next before I put that barbecue sauce on there, if I just move it out of the way. Just some of the sort of, you know, the fatty liquid that's in the bottom. I'm just going to put that in a bowl. That's it. I mean, you could use that for a gravy, that'd be nice. Now, let's just put this back down again. That's it. Now, I've also got this barbecue sauce we made up. Now, I think I'm just going to really just pour that on. Actually, I might get a spoon and spoon it on instead. That's it, I think I'll spoon it on. A little bit more precise then. It smells nice. Now I'm just going to carry on. And I might also do a little bit on the other side. So I might quickly turn these pieces of chicken over a little bit. Now that's ready to go back in the oven. The only thing I would say is what you want to do for the last 25 minutes we're going to be cooking is just whip it out and tip some of that juice that's at the bottom of the pan back into another bowl and then pour it back over the top so you're sort of basting it. So let's get it in the oven, same temperature, cook for another 25 minutes and don't forget to baste it once or twice if you can. So let's just place the chicken back in there. 25 minutes, set your timer, same temperature, 200 degrees Celsius. And don't forget to baste it. So I've got about 10 minutes cook time left. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull my chicken out for the last time, because what I want to do is to baste all those sort of juices, the barbecue juices in there. I want to baste all the chicken. And also, I'm going to turn the chicken on the other side. So let's take it out, turn the chicken over, and pour all those juices over the top. So I've taken the chicken out, got a beautiful colour on it already. Now, Again, I'm just going to get a bowl and just carefully that's it. Right there. Now I'm going to turn the chicken over and then we're going to pour it all back over the top. So let's just flip those over quick. carry on doing all those and again just put that on there actually I think I'll pour it speed it up a little bit that do put that back in the oven for the last 10 minutes and then that's all ready that's it I'll just place those back in the oven 10 minutes 
and then the chicken's all done. So I've finished cooking the chicken. In total, from start to finish, we've been cooking this chicken for 50 minutes, 5-0. Now, I'm gonna pull that out. It's got a beautiful color, and we know the other side looks good as well. Now, I'm gonna put that on the table, and then what we're gonna do is take the pieces of chicken out, put them on a plate, a little bit of tin foil, while we go and make up like a dipping sauce, or a sauce that you could pour over the top of the chicken. So I'm just gonna take the piece of chicken out, Look at that, beautiful colour on both sides. And I'm just gonna lay them on a plate, put a little bit of tin foil, just for a few minutes. There you go, got them all out, looking good. Let's wrap them in a bit of tin foil, not too tight, just very loosely. Now, I'm just gonna lay a little bit of tin foil very gently over the top. Now, that'll keep them warm, help them to sort of tenderize a little bit while we go and finish off this sauce. So, let's go over to the hob and with the leftovers in that baking tray, we're just gonna make a little bit of sauce you can use as a dipping sauce, or one that you can pour over the top of the chicken. Now I'm just gonna switch the heat on. I'm gonna put it on about a medium heat, and then once it's sort of come up to heat, I'm just gonna add a splash more red wine. That's it, that didn't take long. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit more red wine in there. I just want to stir this all around, let's say two or three minutes, and then that's all ready. That's it, I've been cooking mine, stirring it for about two minutes. So I'm going to switch that off the heat now. Now what I'm going to do is take the tray over to the table, pour it all into a little bowl, and that can be your dipping sauce, or you can pour it back over the chicken, it's up to you. So I've got myself a plate and I've just put some watercress around the outside at the moment. Now I'm going to serve up the chicken pieces, so let's bring those here. I'll just use my hands actually. I'm just going to kind of spread this around a little bit and just nest them in between. Now as always I'm just going to taste a bit of piece of this chicken. Oh this one looks really nice, look at that one. Mm -mm. Just turn that around, you've got a beautiful colour on it. That is looking delish. So I'm just going to bite into that and dry it out. Mm. Mm. That is scrummy yummy. That is a definitely, I'd make that again any day. Lovely. Now obviously, we've got this dipping sauce here. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to try a little bit of this. Now, I think I'll use a little spoonful. I'll just put it on top of that. Mm -mm. Let's try some of that. Oh, that is so much nicer. Because you've got a really intense flavour with that dipping sauce. So, maybe you might want to dip yours in or put it over the top. Taste it, taste a bit of chicken and see what you like. Whichever way is lovely. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click subscribe. I always appreciate that. So, see you on the next video. All the best, the original Naked Chef.